So it's been an incredibly exciting morning here on the, on the Land Rover stand at Frankfurt. It's been the, the, essentially the launch of the new Defender, which I've been part of. And words fail me on how exciting that's been personally. To see the car evolve over time and then to finally showcase it to the public, it's been such a special day. Uh, it's, it's like a childhood dream come true. And of course, I've been super lucky in so much that I was involved with filming in Kazakhstan to put together the little teasers that we've had over the last few days that culminated with the unveil today. I, I'm so lucky in so much that I'm one of the few people that's really had the opportunity to drive the car in the manner it's built for. And to say, to say it delivered is an understatement. Driving it at 60 miles an hour across some of those plains in Kazakhstan with the producer saying, no, you've got to go faster, you've got to go faster. To take it up the hill that you saw, you know, I was looking at the hill going, you are kidding me. And Dougie, the, uh, the technical guy with me, goes, no, just put your foot down and just change gear when I turn it. And woof, this thing. If anybody is considering for a second that this car is not fit for purpose, that's not, it doesn't live up to its heritage, they're kidding themselves. This thing's epic on every level. Uh, let's just take a look at what Defender means to so many people. It's beyond a vehicle, it's, it's, it's an icon in its own right. Millions of people have aspirations to own one, to drive one, to, to be part of what Defender stands for. And I think what we've done today is brought it into the next generation. And we, it's, it's had that modernization which it's always been crying out for. And now it's, it's here. And honestly, there's been a buzz around this stand all day long. People are saying, where, when, how can I get my hands on one? Can I desk drive one? Uh, the 90, the 110, it's, this thing is leaving people breathless. So in, in my career as a professional mountaineer, as a mountain guide, I'm taking not just myself, but often clients to far flung places uh, in the European Alps, up in Scotland or you know, further afield in often very remote areas. And the equipment that I always use in my climbing, it's got to be super reliable and fit for purpose. And if you've had a really long, hard day, say in, in Scotland, and you get back to the roadhead, and your car can't get you out because it's snowed or the temperature's fallen, or uh, there's snow melt and the, and the stream's got bigger, you need a vehicle that can get you home. And this is what Land Rovers do. They get me home.